Hey guys, Scott here. Um, doing a little different type of video today. Uh, don't have quite a name for it yet. I'm kind of maybe going to call it a beer face-off or something like that. Um, what I thought I'd be doing, I'm filming this right now in kind of mid to later half of April. Uh, we got Cinco de Mayo coming up. <coughs> and I thought what I'd like to do is two of the more popular uh, Mexican style beers, um, Corona Extra and Modelo Especial. Okay, and they do make uh, this is the thing, the lighter version, which matches a little bit closer to Corona. <coughs> they do make a darker version. Um, I thought I'd do a side by side tasting. Um, obviously, I've had these beers before. Um, I bought them in cans specifically because I, I wanted to avoid the skunkiness that we get. There's a compound that's formed with the um, sunlight and hops called 3-MBT methylbutylthiol, which produces that skunkiness that we're familiar with. And you usually get that with clear bottles. I've, I've done a whole video on that <coughs> or I explained that several times. So I wanted to get Corona in a can as well as Modelo. The lighter version, um, like I said, they didn't make one Negra, which is the darker um, version. Um, and again, I don't have all the Mexican beers. I mean, there's Dos Equis or Dos Equis, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Um, Soul. There, there's a whole bunch of them. You, you can you can ramble them off. But figure Corona and Modelo are probably the biggest ones, okay, in the world as far as Mexican style beers. Now, a couple things about this Modelo. Um, Sometimes it's advertised as a Vienna-style lager, uh, especially Dosa Key Dark does that too. But the, um, this one is pretty much a lighter style, so I, I think it matches a little bit more with Corona. So what I want to do is I'm going to open both up. I'm just going to go through my normal tasting and then just see who what I think is a winner. Um, if it helps you decide later, it may have no influence on you at all. Um, because the warmer months are coming up, a lot of people like to drink uh, Corona, the bottle, which I don't mind either. Um, the interesting thing about Corona before we get started is that um, it's believed, too, that that skunkiness is almost what people are familiar with, and even the, the manufacturer of the beer. So it's almost like they encourage it in their glass bottles. Um, <clears throat> remember, glass, clear glass gives no protection to beer. Green, just a tiny bit. Um, but the brown, uh, darker bottles, and of course, cans are, are the most protective against sunlight um, skunkiness uh, interacting with the hops. Okay, so let's crack these open. I just got two basic glasses you see me use a lot. I'm going to kind of keep them next to each other here so that we can kind of follow along. So I'm going to open up the Corona first. And let's pour this in there. Actually, I'm going to open up both. I'm going to put them side by side. Um, okay, so let me do that. And then I'm going to open up the Modella Special again, which is the lighter version of it. You know, I'm expecting, you know, not too much from these beers. I'm not going to, I'm not going to break them down probably as thorough as I try to do on the beer dissection videos. But... So here's our Corona, okay? You know, nice, you know, nice, you know, white to light tan head. Um, you know, you have that typical straw colored, um, maybe light gold colored. Sorry, I got a bunch of nucleation bubbles here on this glass. It's clean, but maybe not technically the best beer clean glass. Um, you know, crystal clear, you know, kind of white head i'm sure that's going to be fleeting here it doesn't look like it's going to sustain itself very much and then let's put up the um this is the modello okay and again a very probably slightly darker if i put these up next here i'm going to probably have a picture side by side on there and when i'm looking at it the modello has sorry i got some shoulder issues here the modello is to my right, okay, um, is slightly darker, okay? So you can see, you know, this is kind of slightly lighter, but perfectly clear also um, versus the Corona. And I'm probably gonna have it 
pictured that way over my shoulder. So let's take a sniff of the Corona. You know, you get kind of that light, grainy um, malt profile, slightly herbal hops, but you know, not very pronounced. These are, these are supposed to be very light with hop flavor aroma and malt. So the, the flavors are not gonna be jumping out at you, but you get that nice, you know, slight herbal floral, but nothing, you know, nothing jumping out off the page. Okay, um, grainy. The good thing is I don't get any of that skunkiness because it's in the can. Um, so I definitely recommend you, if you do like Corona, try to get them in cans if you can, unless you like the skunkiness. You know, some people just have, you know, kind of assimilated to that, that um, skunk, you know, aroma and flavor over the years, especially in the college days. So again, there's this light white bread, doughy kind of malt profile, light herbal hops, but nothing pronounced. Okay, let me smell the Modelo. Okay, again, you can see how the Modelo has a little bit of a darker um, hue to it. Now this one's a little bit stronger, um, the Modelo. You know, the, the herbal um, hop aromas are jumping out a little bit more than the Corona. But it's still kind of that, that white bread, dough, maybe a slight, you know, bread crusty, but you can tell by even the color that it's gonna have a little bit more mold profile to it. All right, guys, so let's taste the Corona, cheers. Again, I've had Corona many times in the past. I haven't had it in a can in a very long time. It's usually in the bottle. You know, you got that nice medium carbonation, doughy white bread kind of mold profile. Not too much there. It's just kind of very plain Jane type of uh, beer. Um, I get kind of that college tailgate kind of flavor to it. Um, um, but very subdued, you know, almost like a, a corn, you know, I'm not going to say there's DMS in this dimethyl sulfate, but, um, sulfide, but, um, you kind of get that, that corny kind of flavor to it. I don't know if they're really even used corn in this. Um, they may, um, some American lagers like Budweiser will use corn or rice. Actually Coors will use corn a lot. I think Budweiser uses more rice. Um, but you kind of get that kind of flavor. Now I'm not saying they use corn. I, I really don't know the grist. But you kind of get that neutral. But, you know, the aftertaste is, yeah, just kind of danky, um, old beer-like, you know, the beer left out overnight. So um, refreshing. You know, that's why Corona is nice in the summertime. You know, you have a highly, you know, you get a medium to high carbonation. You get an ice cold. It can be very refreshing. All right, let me taste the Modelo, but let me put it up again. See how it's a little bit darker? Okay, and again, I'm going to have pictures of this over my shoulder. You can see it side by side. Yeah, again, the Modelo is a little bit more neutral. No, not more neutral. It's also very neutral. Um, you know, I have a little bit more malt backbone to this one. Um, Maybe a little bit more of like a bread crust with a with a white bread bread crust. Um, so I think it has a lot more malt flavor and backbone than the Corona does. And the hops are very similar. It's um, kind of herbal, but again, nothing like over the top because again, these are made kind of be neutral beers, um, but. It's almost if I was blindfolded, you know, if I didn't see the color of it a little bit, um, it would be kind of tough to dis, you know ask you know di, di, you know discern between both of them. Um, that's the Corona. See how light that is. Um, and then the Modelo. Again, the Modelo, you know, with the Corona, 
malt flavor and hops are kind of here. Modelo is just up a little bit more. It kind of gives you a little bit more um, maltiness to the beer as well as a little bit touch more of the hop aroma and, and flavor. But again, both are very neutral. If you were blindfolded or your taste buds were numb after having two or three beers, you may have a really hard time d distinguishing between the two of them. Um, now, if I had to choose, um, I definitely would be going with the Modelo, okay, Especial. I mean, they're, you know, it's, you know, it has just a little bit more flavor, um, equally kind of carbonated, uh, and just has a little bit more to it than the actual Corona. But again, guys, this is kind of my Cinco de Mayo version. I don't have, I wish I had all, a whole a flight of all the Mexican beers, but this is what you're going to get in a lot of them. Um, you're going to get very neutral malt, little touch of hops. There's not going to be a lot of, you know, spiciness, herbal, floral kind of hops is what you're going to get. Um, usually subdued and um, depending on which one you have. Like now the, the Dos Equis, um Dark is usually probably even another level of, of maltiness uh, to it. So I probably, if I had that here, I may even elevate that a little bit higher. Um, so when you're picking next time, but when you are buying it, if you can get them in cans, get them in cans, unless you find the skunkiness appealing. Remember that 3MBT compound will give that skunkiness. And I've mentioned that in a, in a couple of videos on my channel. Um, so I got to give the winner the Modelo Especial, okay, and, uh, you know, versus the Corona Extra, okay. These are usually uh, purchased, you know, consuming some volume, be light, easy drinking anyway. So if you like Corona, by all means, drink what you'd like to drink. Um, I just find that the Modelo, if I had to pick one or the other in a typical local beer store or I saw it at a, you know, Mexican uh, restaurant or Spanish restaurant and they kept the two, definitely the Modelo has a little bit more, um, uh, we'll say beer flavors than the Corona being a lot more kind of watery, not as um, much, you know, in the malt and the hops. But again, they're meant to be that way too. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of my uh, kind of beer face-off today between Modelo and Corona. I have Modelo Especial the winner. All right, till next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.